Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Combination. This is the part where I will be moving in my Sims and I have chosen a house already. Ooh. And it is a starter home, we only have a limited amount of money. I was looking through the um, starter homes, each one of them, and I, I really did like this one, but for now I just want to go for something very, very, very simple. And I'm going to pick this household with furnishing because it's just easier for me. It does only have two bedrooms. Oh no, sorry, that was the other house. This has one bedroom. I'd rather buy a smaller, cheaper house and go in and build another two rooms for them. So here they are. Look how cute they look. Very nice, very nice. Can't wait to start playing. Um, so yeah, this is the house. It's nothing too exciting. To me, it's just enough to start with. We do have quite a lot of simoleons to work with. Hi guys, welcome back. And as you can see, I have done a little bit of upgrading to the house. It is still an atrocity, but um, I just couldn't stand having a house looking like that for three of my sims. For the free sims, obviously. And yeah, I didn't do too much in this main area where they, be, where they will be spending, sorry, most of their time. I did just move around um, the bookshelf and the couches. There is supposed to be a TV here, but I don't want to buy them for the, I don't want to buy one for them just yet. They can live without it. And I kept this little <laughs> crappy looking chair and table that can stay right there and I did nothing to the kitchen or bathroom I did switch around the sink and the toilet just so it's easier to work with and I did add these two little rooms and I did extend this part just a little just so there's a little more room for three sims to walk around I'm just going to give you a quick tour of whose bedroom each bedroom is let me just lock in these lifetime I mean these he wants a motorbike we'll do that one day I'm going to lock it in alright so this room I thought is the only room with a double bedroom at the moment and I thought who is going to want that more than Veronica you know she's got her nice little nightstand there with some candles and it's pretty nice you know her little modern flower pot her nice mirror and I just thought it all was just it just had her name all over it. And I didn't think she'd want to be too close to the other Sims. This is Zelda's room. I think it's very cute, very quaint, very adorable. It's kind of reminds me of a teenage Sims room, you know, with this little mirror. Oh my goodness. Why? There is a picture of a little boy on her mirror. You know what? Maybe that's her childhood crush. You know, she kept it up there. It's fine, and I thought this was a really nice touch to her room. This little flower light thing, because it's quirky like her. And I've got this little sunflower on her uh, wardrobe and a couple of pens and a notebook for her to, you know, just to add to her personality for the room. Yes, moving right along. This here is Samuel's room. It's got a bed. It's like the other rooms, you know, <laughs> but it's more him, you know. This is the plant that he bought from his old house when he was living with his mum and dad and they kicked him out. You know, these are his CDs of his favourite bands and musicians and he's got his old little lamp here and he's got a bed from University Expansion Pack. And that's about it. I kept the wall colours all plain. I don't want to add too much personality to the bedrooms. This is their first house and I did want to... Sorry, I didn't want to spend too much money as well. I do want to keep some money for them so we'll be able to save up and buy a TV and definitely upgrade the refrigerator and the stove, the toilet and the shower because those are always things that I always normally almost do in the beginning of a house. I really just want to upgrade them and they are my priorities at the moment. I'm sorry, Sam. A motorbike is not a priority right now, but... I'm going to go ahead and get right into the gameplay. Oh goodness. 
Here I'm just assigning them to their beds and sending them off to get their jobs. Oh, what's happening? Hello, eyebrows. Oh, why did we just jump home? Oh, university mascot. Paper girl. What's she doing? She's freaking out. Oh, God. <laughs> Come home, please. Zelda, browsing the web. Come home. Sam, streaming a video. Come home. We're going to go ahead and sell that. And I need to go ahead and actually buy them. He's going to come home and start playing, jamming by himself. What does she want to do? Enroll in university. We're not going to do that. This isn't a university LP. We will not be doing that right now, unfortunately. So she is home. She is going to go ahead. She doesn't actually need any skills for um, to be working in the business career she just needs to get along with her colleagues but and her boss so oh Iqbal her boss let's go ahead and chat to her boss you know she needs to have a good relationship with the people she works with and Zelda what are you doing learn the writing skill take a class in writing I don't think we're gonna do that <laughs> she's like yay flowers <laughs> all right you are going to listen to the writing skill. And then you're going to come and make some brunch for everybody. You're going to come make some salad. Oh, she's talking to her boss, trying to woo him. That's, we need to be friends with him. We need to have a good relationship with him. That's what we need. And it's already great, so that's good. <laughs> the first day of work, she's calling her boss. How's Samuel doing? He is just chilling. Chilling. Playing the guitar. And Zelda is making us. Oh, she's looking hard at work. Making us some lovely salad for her roommates, in which they haven't socialised that much, you know. They're all acquainted, they're not friends yet. Uh, her boss is called Simis. Who's his boss? Zelda. Oh, her name's Zelda. That's cool. I'm just gonna fast forward. Is anyone hungry? No one's even hungry. You might as well put that in the fridge. Nobody's hungry. What can we do? Oh, of course, we can meet some Sims. Oh, it's her boss. Is that her boss? Yes, it is. Oh, no. That's Zelda's boss. Come greet your boss, Zelda. Greet. Invite him inside. Who are these people? Oh. Gus. Oh, Gus. <laughs> you can be friends. With Samuel. And who's this chick? Who are you? Why are you here? Dory Hart. Well, I guess she can come talk to her. You know what? Let's give her a rude introduction. Oh, our boss has a laptop. You know what, since we've got guests around, I think we'll leave the food out. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh goodness. Veronica being a bitch. Let's see. Oh, bad start. She thinks she's being impolite. Let's ask her about her job, make sure she's not like a co-worker. Nope, she's just somebody. Let's just ask her everything. She's a cash register specialist. Nice. Talk about your new job. Mm, whine about life. We're not going to invite her inside. Oh, Samuel and... Oh, it's because he's a couch potato. He's talking about his favourite shows. These two look like they're going to get very much along. Look at them. How's her boss doing? Her boss is just analysing the house. So they'll go talk to your boss. And do's about animals. Go on. In the meantime, we're going to look at who's got what. Oh my goodness! Veronica! I just didn't want you to be too friendly. Why are you slapping her? Oh my goodness. Already on the first day, you're having an enemy. I. Oh, she's still being nice to you. Oh, she's so rude. Oh. This is not going to end well. Oh, but she's asking. 
school socializing, so that's nice. Oh, she's going. <laughs> Talk about conspiracies to Zelda's boss. All right. Just don't get her demoted already, if that makes sense, because not that you can. All right. Oh. <laughs> Sinus Bachelor. Oh, he's neurotic as well. Talk about shared traits. She's like, what? No way. No way. <laughs> You're neurotic as well. All right, let's just flatter her boss. Let's talk about conspiracies as well. Let's ask if he's single. <laughs> Give him a hear the moan kiss. Zelda would be like, oh my goodness, Veronica, you're a creep. Talk about dogs. Hmm. I was thinking, and I'm probably going to get them a pet at one point. I don't know what it would be. It would probably be a dog. But soon I could get a smaller animal. I haven't even yet played with the smaller animals, so I don't really know about the interactions. But, yeah. So, Zelda's going to come over here. And call everybody to the meal. And of course, we have a tiny kitchen, so it's all going to be difficult to, you know. Oh, trust Simis and Veronica to be sitting at the table. Oh, Veronica's actually washing the dishes. As I was saying, let's look at when they start work. 17 hours. One day, he doesn't start for a day. He works at 3 p.m., which is cool. And she works in 17 hours as well. They have the same time, so that's good. Veronica should go ahead and actually improve her relationship with her own boss. So she's going to go friend him, oh, send him in friendly text. Sorry about that. And here we are back. Oh, he's in a relationship. Oh, look at her, she's like... I just got to text my boss. Let's continue in doing that journalism. Wine about life. Talk about new job and talk about. Let's get to know him. Sorry about the lagging with my computers. I'm actually doing something at the moment in the background, so it is going to slow the end of the video down, but it's okay. Oh, his friend's still here. Yeah. These guys, oh my god, friends. these guys need to be good friends, so let's chat, complain about status quo, discuss her TV shows, enthuse our new house, get to know, mm, share a secret, chat, Zelda, where are you going? Yeah, clean up all the dishes and put away the leftovers. Yeah, I'm going to toilet while everybody else is socializing. She's the one that needs to be upping her relationship with Mr. Simis, but it seems like Veronica is hogging him a bit. And they're friends already. Look at these guys. So let's see what we know about him. He's family orientated, he's neurotic, he handles anonymous sources. So he's a journalist. His sign is Aquarius, which is the same as Zelda's. And I think, I can't remember. It may not be. <laughs> and he is married. So let's... Oh. <gasps> what just happened already? He just smooched us. What is she doing? Veronica, you're a whore. Why? why? Uh, guys, you saw that. I did not do that. That was not me. I'm just going to leave them to do whatever they want. You know, Simis is a family guy. Well, it's not Veronica's fault. He just kind of kissed. What's she doing? She's like, <laughs> she's like, guys, I'm just going to come in and be the third wheel. <laughs> Break you. Oh, she's still lost. Look at them. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Give him a heat of the moment kiss. Veronica, you know what? Just go for it. You know, ask him to sleep over. Compliment his personality. You know, you'll like me. Oh my goodness! It's so weird. We. This is the first part of the freaking game. Do you see what I mean? 
madness she's getting with her boss. And these two, I deliberately didn't want them to gossip. Oh, they're not gossiping. <laughs> these two aren't even friends yet. My favorite food. <laughs> that was the secret. My favorite food is fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. Zelda's just like, oh, I'm just going to come outside. I can't deal. She's going to come. What is she doing? You're a home wrecker, Veronica. Ugh. Home wrecker. But I am continuing to make you a home wrecker. Oh. Oh gosh. He's like, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Zelda, why don't you come clean up? She's like, I'm done. I'm so done. I'm going to leave them to it. I, I, I don't even know what to say. Oh, who wants to watch TV? I'll buy you a TV, don't worry. You can invite Gus over and you guys can come just watch TVs. Ask about his career. Maybe he works in the music industry as well. Have pillow fights with him. <laughs> talk about computers. Talk about new job. Tell a dramatic story. Talk about rebelling. Zelda? Oh, she's like, okay. My turn to talk to my boss. The whole point of him being here is so I can talk to him. <laughs> Veronica, you're crazy already. Oh my goodness, she's going to compliment Gus's appearance. Please. What's wrong with her? Does she have the flirty trait? She's like, ah! Gus is like, no, 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 no. Oh, he's in a relationship with Dory. <gasps> Dory was the girl outside. Was she not? Someone tell me she was. Oh, God. Gus and Dory Hart, of course. Well, <laughs> that is so awkward. She was a total bitch outside to his wife. Oh, Oh, that scared me if they were fighting. I don't want him to fight. Twelve hours. You know what? She's done for the night. She can go to bed. Zelda needs to talk to him. Phone junkie. <laughs> Just come right in your boss's day, you know. Just apologize for what a neurotic bitch she is. I'm sorry, I'm going to be saying that word quite a lot. Or we could just dare her. Let's dare him to kiss someone. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to fast forward this. And it is coming to 9pm. And they do have work tomorrow at 8am. So they probably will be up at 6. So I think it's a good idea. Ask for a raise. <laughs> so yeah, we can do that. Let's just ask for a promotion on our first day of work. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not actually going to do that. La, la, la. Look at these two. Oh. I hope they become good friends. Yeah. Samuel's got a lot right now going on. Like he wants a lot. He wants a lot. Veronica is sleeping. She's gonna be up at four a.m. She wants to brush her teeth three times. Let's do that. Maybe you should go sleep too. And everybody just go sleep. What are these guys doing? Are they not leaving? They seem to not be leaving. Anyway, guys. Oh, what is he doing? Hold the phone. Let's woohoo with him. Go on, Veronica. Midnight woohoo. Is it going to work? Ah! Well, if you don't want to be here, then get the hell out. She just wanted to get some, you know. Leave. Bye. Oh, interrupting our sleep. You won't even woohoo with us. What's wrong with you? Anyway, like I said, I will come back to you guys in the morning. Hey, everyone. It is now morning time. And there... Oh, goodness. The couples are in an hour. I feel like Veronica's the type of girl she'd rather go have a shower than eat before work. You know, she would sacrifice food. Oh, 
Zelda's, sorry, I just cut myself off because Zelda's PJs is the cutest thing. She looks adorable. Yeah, you can shower. Well, she probably does have time to eat something. She can just have some, some yogurt. Yeah, she is starving. I think it's because it's a very crappy shower. Oh god, no time. Time to go work. Time to go work. You can go hungry. Oh. Oh no, wait, get out the kitchen. She needs to go by. Come on, Zelda, go work. Bye bye. See you guys at 2 pm, I believe. In which Samuel will be just leaving. Uh, I do want to buy him a microwave so he can just have microwave foods, but, because I don't think he would want a salad, but yeah, he's going to go have a, have, a, have a salad. And he doesn't have work for a while and he still doesn't have one point of, um, oh, the summer festival is here. It's cool. We'll probably go when everybody doesn't have work. Hopefully, oh no, well Samuel doesn't have work on Wednesday and everybody else has the weekend off, so. And he's only got Sunday off apart from Wednesday. Is that our first bill? You know, we're going to go ahead and pay for that because I don't want us to get into any Repo Man trouble. Repo Man? Repo Man? I don't know. But he's going to come play the guitar for a bit. Oh, how are these guys doing work? Oh, shock. She's sucking up to her boss. Is that doing well for her? It looks like it is. And she's got business as usual. She's going to practice writing. She needs level three. Samuel's going to come. Oh, why won't no one bloody wash the dish? You sound great, Samuel. Truly amazing. Oh, improved book royalties. Write enough books to earn a weekly royalty of... Uh, sure. We'll do that. Even though we don't have a computer yet. That's why we need the promotion, guys. We need promotion. By the end of the week, we probably will have everything we need. Like, we probably will have a TV. Hopefully a computer. Hopefully we'll be able to upgrade our fridge and our refrigerator or the shower. Oh. Go on. Oh. Laundry. I forgot to do that. We can't afford laundry at the moment. So, we're not going to have a laundry machine. So, it's okay. And when does he have work? In like a, yeah, a couple hours. So, yeah, he's going to stop doing that. Going to come go toilet. Oh. Improved career performance. Improved relationship with boss. We have to do that. We have to do that. Read the journalism book. That's all it takes. So, she's going to come home and then read that book where she gets home. She'll listen to a writing tab cast that she does as well. Oh, Samuel's got work in an hour. What's he doing? Oh, he offered to... Oh, my goodness! Ew! I thought he was going to clean it. Stop. Get ready for work. Just come out here. Ugh. What's that? Ice cream van. <gasps> Buy ice cream. <laughs> He's like, I don't care if my carpool's here. I want ice cream. I didn't know this existed. What did this come with? <gasps> Buy a coloured popsicle. No, a freezer bunny. <laughs> and eat it before work. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, and the girls are home, I think. He is loving that. He's loving that. Okay, hurry up. Don't be late on your first day, please, Sam. Please. Oh my goodness, what was that? Go work. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, it's gonna go! Oh my goodness, you're late. You're freaking late. You're, you are late. Oh, what was that? That was weird. Look what he's wearing. <laughs> oh, he's already failing. Why don't you study some music theory when you get there? Actually, he'd probably want to meet the musicians. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> What's she doing? She's reading just a random book. Put your charisma tab cast on. And she went to brush her teeth for some reason three times, so we're just going to quickly go brush her teeth. 
three times and she's probably going to text her boss who she's already good friends with text and we are going to text a woohoo text I when I first saw that I thought it meant like S-C-X-ting <laughs> but then I later figured out that it was like a booty call so she's going to send Zelda's boss Simis a booty call how are they doing at work? She's okay. She's doing, wow, way better. She's going to get a promotion tomorrow. And, yeah. But she's doing well with her writing skills, so that's good. Tabcast is a good thing. And she needs to take a shower and everything. So Veronica, hurry up with washing those dishes. I mean, brushing those teeth. <laughs> oh! He accepted our booty call. So she's going to come here, clean that disgusting dish that no one else is bothering to do. Samuel comes home at nine. So, oh, gosh, here he is. Uh, invite him. Go invite your boss in. Oh, what is happening? Why did they just go straight to the bed? This is the first time I have ever had a successful booty call. Why is he not wearing any shoes? What's happening? No. Why? Oh, my goodness. He just made the man cheat on his wife. <sighs> Simis, let's take a look at you. Ugh, you're old. Is he an adult or an elder? I think he's an adult. You and your older men. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I, I don't. Just, just tell him to go home. I'm disappointed in you, Veronica. Then again, you probably don't care. She's going to come have some yogurt and she's going to go eat some leftovers, what we've been eating for the past two days, and Samuel should be home in two hours. And he's doing okay, you know, he's going around meeting everybody, has he met anybody yet? And of course he hasn't. Oh, look at him. Ugh. He's like, I got some booty. I got some booty. I got some booty. Disgusting. Go home, Simmons. Zelda, you should just quit your job just because of him. She wants to buy an easel. Maybe when Samuel comes home, we'll be able to afford it. But yeah. Oh, she feels sick. Why? Disgusting food? Oh, goodness. Just go sleep, Zelda. Sleep on it. Let's put the tab cast on so you can improve your writing skill. Even though it's at level 3 already, which I'm excited for. She's checking the freaking sink. Come over here. Clean that disgusting toilet. Oh! Yes, because it improves. Oh, all we have to do is read a book. That's cool. You can come relax and do that in bed. She's like, I'm just so done. She's just disgusted. Did you break the... Oh, it's because she's a hothead. That's what she does. She breaks things. Oh, terrible. Well, at least Samuel's coming home. Take it easy at work. He wants to buy games. He wants to do everything. Since you're in bed, just read that book. Oh! Why has she got up? Are you going to be sick? Oh no. Wait, why are you throwing up outside? Throw up in the toilet, Zelda! Ew. Zelda. Ew, I'm sorry I made you eat the disgusting food. It's not our fault. Our fridge can't even keep food in there for a day. It's not my fault. I'm probably gonna get Sam to repair that, you know, get him to have a bit of a repairing skill. Whose phone is that? That better not be Simis asking for a booty call. And it better not wake her up. This house is crazy. This little disgusting house is mental. Veronica's already had a, a relationship in two days of moving to Sunset Valley to a married man, a married older man, Veronica, you disgust me. Zelda's doing the best. She's impressed me so much. I feel bad for her throwing up though. And Samuel, I'm gonna make you the biggest rock star. Keep dreaming, keep dreaming. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching already. I'm really excited to be doing this. 
and I can't wait to continue on and see what happens with these guys and I hope you can join the journey with me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Bye!